Okay, well this is um, a battery uh, post repair um, job. Um, of course, um, this is the kind of video that um, has the disclaimer at the beginning, uh, don't try this at home. It's uh, dangerous, it's got all kinds of dangers, fire, acid, um, electrical, um, tools. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, this is one of one of those things that don't do as um, do as I say and don't do as I do. Um, I'm just going to uh, repair this because I need to, and I'm presuming you didn't get to find this video because you weren't uh, afraid of doing things that possibly uh, require an awful lot of caution and uh, indeed isn't one of those things you should do at home. So what we got here is a melted battery post uh, from an electric vehicle. Um, the uh, posts vibrate and the nuts get a little loose and then it all starts to warm up and then eventually it melts if you don't pay attention, which I guess I wasn't doing. So looking around, I didn't really find many solutions to fixing this problem until I stumbled across uh, forklift operators and companies that make batteries for forklifts. And they don't muck around with nuts and bolts at all. They uh, just lead uh, weld or embed cast, I guess, um, all of the wires and the fittings directly onto the posts. So there's no ability for mechanical vibration to cause um, uh, what's happened here. So uh, that was an interesting um, view. And so what I've done is I found uh, a regular old battery post, uh, a connector with a wing nut on it, fixture already on it, which is what I need to have on here is that wing nut connection until I come up with a, ultimately a better solution. It's conveniently the same size as the post here. And so I'm just going to follow what I picked up in this other video and um, melt this to this post. So the key here is uh, a carbon, uh, it's called carbon gouging or carbon welding or there's all kinds of notions for it. All, what you really have here is a chunk of carbon, you have a power supply, uh, when it shorts it out this piece of carbon heats up sufficiently to melt the lead and then uh, so you don't, it doesn't require flame uh, certainly there's potential for sparks, so you want to make sure that you've vented everything. You've got good fresh air flow here um, because batteries do explode. Um, and then, of course, this needs to be all cleaned up. And um, I got these carbon uh, rods out of 6-volt uh, lantern batteries. And um, I'll cover that at the end in the credits, I guess, about how we got these rods. But, of course, you can get a carbon uh, arc uh, welding rod or gouging rod from a welding supply company as well. Um, if you live in the remote uh, rural area like I do, it's not that easy to get to a welding shop. So this was a good alternative and it actually works very nicely. Um, so there we go. So the first thing you need to do is clean up this post. It needs to be nice, uh, clean uh, 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 lead in order to attach that. So go nice and clean so that'll uh, allow this uh, post to adhere to there nicely goes without saying uh, all your safety gear gloves mask fire extinguishers wet rags Got to heat up the bottom here really good, get it started so it's melting without touching the sides. You can see the rod heats up and then it starts melting at the bottom, which is where I'm in contact at the moment. And I can push that lead around so it starts to connect with the uh, new terminal. 
keep that temperature up. Of course, as the battery gets drawn down, the more difficult it is to keep the temperature up. And we can feed some lead in there. So that's um, carbon arc uh, gouging is probably what they would refer to that as in the welding business. Um, and I melted the bottom of the post, started it getting flowing, and then started adding uh, lead that I had uh, cast the other day by just making uh, uh, angle iron and filling it full of melted lead. So I had some welding rod, so to speak, to work with. So um, we'll let that cool off and we'll see what that looks like. So remember, don't try this at home. So this is uh, the other technique I've seen, um, simply just using a torch. And so again, the same as the other one, you want to get that all hot and melting down here. And it takes a while to get it started. Gonna drip a little bit on there to see if it'll get it going. Yeah, so there we there. Now that's uh, starting to flow there. So, yeah, you get that melting, and we can see there's all kinds of problems associated with that because it gets way too hot. Okay, well, there's another one. Not very good.